Oh, I mean, it's just all that hard work we do in the first half and then we just completely throw it away in the second half. And I forgot, Ed Kraft and Lewis, they were shocking once again tonight. Two of the goals, their fault. Again, Dolo he's been beaten at his near post. That should not be happening as well. We need to look to go back to put Dubravka back in goal now. Dolo, he's done very well, uh, which I give him credit. But now he's become an error pro now, and we need to bring our number one keeper back in um, tonight as well. Uh, Steve Bruce decides to sub off two of our best players, Miggy and ASM. What is he? What's he doing it for? Is he saving them for Wolves? Honestly, the bloke is clueless and he needs to be gone out of this football club. We played very well in the first half, uh, right up to the second goal, to be fair. We pressed high. We caused, we forced them into mistakes. It was quite promising. And then as soon as that second goal goes in, it's just all gone. Yeah. It's just like the players kind of lost hope, lost a bit of energy. And then it's just, we had no hope after that second goal. We never once looked like getting an equaliser and get back into it. It was just disappointing because they all worked so hard, did so well up to that point and then just completely fell off a cliff. It's just disappointing. It's it's a, it's a frustrating loss. I think sometimes you can get beaten. No hands up that you, you didn't play well. I think in times we had as many good moments as Man United did at times, but uh, we didn't take them. And this is where I go back to last week. We give a few chances away to Chelsea. They didn't score them. Man United scored them today. So it could have been a lot worse today as well. You, you can't look at Kraft, but Rashford skinned many a right yeah. back in the Premier League the way he did to Kraft. So I think you've got to put this, the blame to Darlow. I think the percentage of the blame for me goes to Darlow. He shouldn't be getting beat at that near post. Uh, I don't think Jufra, like a few people said already, would have conceded that goal. But at the same time, would Manquillo have dealt with Rashford in that position in the same way? So he, he could have gotten a cleaner strike on goal, you don't know. Uh, I think it's harsh to 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 really give a lot of it to Kraft. I think Rashford's quick. I don't know about you guys, but I think for the first half an hour, well, even maybe an hour, you, if you were going to lose 2-1, you could have said, good performance, we had a go at them. Overall, that 60 minutes, you could probably say we edged it, but we just didn't take the chances. And then as soon as the second goal went in, I says to the missus, who was reminding us of the score at the time, actually, when we <laughs> pressed straight after this, this second kickoff, Shelby missed time to a, a, a run to go to help Miggy, and then straight away the heads, all of them, I don't know where anyone else noticed it, but there was a succession of heads just dropping all, as the camera panned across the pitch. And I think um, that's, again, I said it last week, it's worrying that some of the, the big players' heads are going down. I mean, Carl Darlow, fantastic all season. Yeah. But look back, we, we're we're being really patient with him and really positive, and he has been great. Uh, you know, a second string goalkeeper uh, per se. He's fit, he, and he has filled Bradka's boots, and we should be very proud of that. And I hope he does get an England call up, even if it's just to be the third choice. Yeah, I do think he's better than Pickford. Whether he's better than Pope, that you know, that's not. That's obviously for the experts to decide. But Dubravka is an international goalkeeper. And we, what we've got to be thinking, and we should have been thinking maybe two or three games ago, is, you know, this old cliche, every match is now a cup final. Yeah. Who would you rather have in goal in a cup final? Be honest, Darlow or Dubravka? There's so many... The, well, there's so few times this season where I can say that I've genuinely, like, enjoyed watching a game of, um, a game of football... Uh, with Newcastle, and for the first 15 minutes or so of that game, that was actually the case. I was enjoying the game, but the way that we've been beaten, um, the reason I'm pissed off is basically because of Steve Bruce, because I think he's absolutely bottled it with the with the substitutions that he's made. Um, That's, did he off. really do? Yeah, I think so. I think he's absolutely had had a shocker with the subs. Well, I'd, I'd say all three of them, really. I'd say all three of them, because okay. you know when he t when he took Joe Linton off, we didn't have a striker up front. He put Ryan Fraser well, on. Well, he kind of um, had Joe Linton. He had to take Joe Linton off, don't you? Think? I know, I know, he had to take Joe Linton off. Um, and taking Joe, Lin Joe Linton off was the right decision. He probably should have come off at the end of the first half. But the thing is, 
I know Ryan Fraser has got pace and he's a decent footballer and I think he can serve a role playing for Newcastle. But to be honest, that's the wrong substitution in my opinion. You need to be putting an attacking player on, be that Dwight Gale or, in my opinion, he, put a, he should have put Andy Carroll on because he needs someone with a bit of physical presence, with a bit of uh, height um, in, in that position um, at that moment in the game. We played very well, but it's one of those games. It's almost a wasted good performance because we had so many lacklustre performances against the smaller teams where we, we've lost or drawn. And it's like, mm-hmm. I didn't expect us to beat Man United. We held our own against them. But you, you go into yeah. these games, it's a good performance in a game. We were realistic, as I said, not to win. And that's kind of this had the disheartening part because knowing us, we... West Brom in two weeks or a week or whatever, we Wolves first. And like their games, if we play like that, we could win. But <laughs> will we play the same? Well, the first half was really positive. I wasn't expecting it. I thought we would have been thrashed already in the first half. But then we did a lot better than I thought we would have. Unfortunately, I don't know what happened at half time. We just completely threw that away and knocked back all of the hard work that we did in the first half. It was like a reverse of what we normally do, because we normally do better in the second half, but this time we did better in the first half. For once, I wish we could just have a full good game. I was expecting it, but I feel worse than I thought I would, because um, yeah. I think it was mainly the way Steve Bruce reacted at the end of the match that really annoyed us, like smiling and stuff. We're sitting 17th in the league after being beat 3-1 with three points stopping us from going into the bottom three. I don't know what there is to smile about. Like He's literally so close to taking down his boyhood club. It was just shocking mm. to see that. It made us so annoyed. Carl Dorn has yeah. got a lot to answer for. I thought that was one of his worst games. He's definitely you can see the mistakes creeping into his game now. He looked so shaky. And that penalty... Fair enough, it's hard to see a penalty. I wasn't expecting him to save it. But I don't know what he was doing. Like, that dive that he did, it was just, like, crazy. I don't know why he would do that. Um, I think he should have been dropped a while ago. I think the pressure of Martin Dubravka being on the bench is getting to him because he knows that it's so easy for him to lose out his place in the mm-hmm. team. And I think he definitely should. I don't want to see him start next week. He doesn't deserve to keep his place, especially after that game. Oh, where do we start? I mean, look, Jack. Jack's kind of uh, nailed a couple nails in, and you talked about Kraft as well. Basically, Rashford sent Kraft back to Sweden. Yeah, that first goal, like he's absolutely woeful. And to top things off as well, I've seen I've seen Yedlin's first assist in about five years over in Turkey. Matt, I heard about that. I couldn't believe it. I know. I couldn't believe it either. I was thinking, is that the same DeAndre Yedlin that couldn't cross a road, let alone cross a ball? So, I've seen that, and then. um Jamal Lewis has basically been just, just evaluated in the space of nine months or however long he's been here because he looks absolutely woeful. Um, and and I, we've, I feel like Norwich have bumped us twice now in the series. Yeah. So, you know, Jacob Murphy and Jamal Lewis. Um, John Joe Shelby, again, looks like you're trying to be his spirit animal with that new haircut of yours. But um, <laughs> I haven't seen him in a flipping back and white shirt at all. He looks absolutely shocking. And then Joe Linton as well, flipping out. He might as well be taken up, at, uh, might as well be a barber, mate, because that's the only thing that he's going to be score with. But I couldn't wait to see the back of him. But then again, we play with no striker. The yeah. only time we actually play with Almiro, Miggy, uh, Miggy, sorry, um, ASM and Fraser on the same pitch at the Fraser. same time, and we actually have no striker. You know, go figure. And then to top things off as well, Bruce is getting all pally pally with Ole at the end. Do you know what I mean? Walking down a tunnel, all smiles like he's just. You've just lost another game, Bruce. I know, albeit it's places a place where you know we spent good days and all the rest of it now. But it's players at mm-hmm. players at home and fans at home that actually care about this club. And there's you walking down the tunnel, knowing full well that there's a camera in your face, your live TV, and you're smiling and all pally pally with the opposition manager after getting beaten three one. Like I do not know what you've said to them at half time. Probably put in your flipping tea time order and forgot to do a half time team talk. Because, again, we did not even come out in the second half at all. Absolutely shocking again. Where's Graham Jones? I don't know. Because, again, that's the only fifth and saving grace that I've got. And now Fulham are right up our arse now. And, again, this time next week, we could be in the relegation zone. So, to sum it all up, great weekend. 